to Brain Fitness. Thank you for joining us today. Let's start, like we always start, with some brain integration exercises. So from a nice, comfortable, seated position, let's get started. Today we're going to do something that may look pretty familiar from years gone by. So we're going to take our right hand and we're going to tap our head. I think you know where I'm going with this. So tap, 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 tap. And then on the stomach, you're going to rub, rub, rub. Told you this looked familiar. Great, great job. So just make sure that you're tapping your head and you're rubbing your tummy. Okay, great, let's switch. So with your left hand, tap your head. Your right hand, rub your belly. And don't tap your head too hard like I was doing. Kind of difficult, huh? Great, let's try another one. This next one is called tap and wave. So with our right hand, we're just gonna wave like this like a windshield wiper, wave, wave, wave. And with our left hand, we're gonna tap our leg. And try to really stay in one spot on that leg tap. Because what you'll find is your hand's kinda waving on your leg. So tap and wave. All right, let's switch. So with your left hand, you're gonna do the windshield wiper wave. And with your right hand, you're gonna try to tap, but in one spot on your leg. Hello, everyone. Okay, great job. And so we're gonna do one last one because over the weeks, I hope we've been perfecting this one. So right hand flat out and left hand, give me that thumbs up. Right flat, left thumb, switch, switch, switch. Remember, watch your hands. It's easier if you watch your hands. Switch and double time. Switch, 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 switch. Great job, okay. Let's get started. So think fast, brain warm up. We're gonna do categories. So I'll list three, th uh, three categories for you. Shape, direction, description, and then I'm gonna call out a list of items and you'll tell me if I'm saying a shape, a direction, or a description. Shape, direction, description. Shape, direction, description. So enormous. Shape, direction, description. Backward. Shape, direction, description. Rhombus. South. Cylinder. Now remember, this is a brain warm up, so you wanna think fast and call out those answers nice and loud. I will try my best to hear you. Categories are shape, direction, description. Let's keep going. Downward. TC, west, circle, wavy, curly, caddy corner, that's a direction, hexagon, forward, triangle, okay, let's pause here and go back to our instructions. I will say a word and you are just screaming out as loud as you can if it's a shape, direction, or a description of something. So am I saying a shape, like a triangle, a direction, like forward, or a description like wavy? Shape, direction, description. Let's keep going. Minuscule, upward, level, cube, lateral, that's a direction, east, Folded. Folded is a description. You're describing an item and how it is uh, how it's described. Folded. Oval. North. Empty. Squat. Pyramid. That's a shape. Diagonal. And that's a direction. Great job. I hope your brain feels nice and warmed up for these next exercises. Okay, so this is word finding skills. How many words can you think of for each category? I'm gonna give you a category. Just start calling out as many words as you can think of that fall under that category. So this is fruit that begins with the letter P. So fruit that begins with the letter P, start thinking of that. And then I'll share some of my answers. And I feel like I hear some fruits that begin with the letter P, like peaches. 
some good Georgia peaches. How about peaches? How about a pear? How about a plum? Prune? Pineapple? All good fruits that start with the letter P. Okay, let's do it again. Drinks that begin with the letter P. So P, drinks that begin with the letter P. See what you got. If you were at the bar or the beach bar, you might get one of these drinks. I feel like they're coconut flavor. How about a pina colada? One drink that starts with a P that comes to mind for me is not soda, but they call it pop. And then a type of soda, not Coke, which is my favorite, but the opposite, Pepsi. Uh, now they do this with tea now, they make it flavored. It's a fruity flavor that starts with the letter P. How about peach tea? Um, in the fall or autumn time, we get these spiced lattes. They start with a P. Pumpkin spice latte. Let's see what else we got. Pepsi, pina colada, peach tea, pink lemonade. That's a good one, especially for summer. And you may have come up with other drinks that begin with a P. So candy, candy that begins with the letter P. Bet if your grandkids were here, they could just surpass us all in this category. So candy that starts with a P. Calling them out. Ooh, one thing I'm thinking of is Pez, P-E-Z. Comes in those little dispensers with little characters on the top, Pez, or even What's that that comes in a stick and it's just straight sugar, colored sugar, it's a stick, it's a pixie stick. I'm sure you're coming up with other ones. How about peanut M&Ms? That's a good one. Something that you sometimes have after dinner to freshen your breath. You get them out at restaurants sometimes. Little red, or little white discs candy, peppermints. Let's see what else we have. Payday candy bar, Peeps, the Easter candy, little Peeps, little marshmallow covered sugared candies for Easter. Pez, peppermint patty, peanut brittle, and of course, pixie stick. Great. Great. Mental math. You guys ready for some math? So before math, we just want to take a couple of deep breaths, relax the brain, and get ready to think about math. So join me. One, very nice. That's two. Great, let's do one more. And you just feel better already. Get some nice oxygen to the brain, relax a little bit, just helps the brain to work better for you. So let's do some math. Find the missing number to solve the equation. So 35 plus what equals 40? How about 5? 35 plus 5 equals 40. 50 plus what number equals 90? How about 40? 50 and 40 equal 90. 25 plus what number equals 35? How about 10? 25 plus 10 equals 35. 63 plus what equals 72? 63 plus what number equals 72? How about 9? 63 plus 9 equals 72. Good job, guys. Hang in there. We know it's a, we're going a little fast. We're giving our brain a good workout here. 40 plus what equals 60? How about 20? 40 and 20 equals 60. Good job. 82 plus what number equals 90? 82 plus what number equals 90? 8. 82 and 
8 gives you 90. 80 plus what number equals 90? How about 10? There you go. Good job with the math, guys. Okay, we're going to switch directions here a little bit. We're going to say, who is that character? Let's take a trip to the happiest place on earth. Do you guys remember where that is? Disney World or Disneyland? One's in Florida, one in California. So I'm going to give you some clues, and you're going to tell me what characters we're going to meet along the way. So who are we going to meet at the happiest place on earth? So start thinking of, of those characters. So she is the star of an under the sea fairy tale. She loses her voice to an evil octopus. So with grandkids, you might remember this, but it's an old, old fairy tale. So she is the star of the under the sea fairy tale. And she has that flaming red hair and a tail and she lives underwater. So she of course is the little mermaid, the little mermaid. Okay, so we're still in the happiest place on earth. We're still thinking of Disney characters. This wooden boy has a nose that grows. And of course, he wants to be a real boy. And his nose grows every time he tells a lie. Start, his name starts with a P. He is Pinocchio. Okay, so we're still in Disney World or Disneyland. This young girl was her stepmother's maid before losing her glass slipper at the ball. And she was friends with mice um, and talked to all sorts of animals, but she was the maid for her stepmom and her stepsisters. And then she goes to the ball in a magical pumpkin, loses a glass slipper. Her name starts with a C. She is Cinderella. This evil stepmother wanted to be the fairest of them all and used a poison apple to put her stepdaughter into a deep sleep. So the movie, of course, is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But who is this evil stepmother? She looks into the mirror and says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, it's funny because she doesn't really have a name. They just refer to her as the evil queen. That was a trick one. This friendly bear hangs around with a pig, a kangaroo, and a tigger, not a tiger. This friendly bear hangs with a pig, a kangaroo, and a tigger. How about Winnie the Pooh? Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so <laughs> we're out of Disneyland, we're out of Disney World, we're moving on to something a little more challenging. These answers all have C-A-P in them consecutively. So I'm gonna give you a clue and all of the answers have the letter C-A-P in the answer consecutively in that order, C-A-P. All right, you're with me, let's get going. Cities that are the center of government for the state. C-A-P is in there. Cities that are the center of government for the state. So ours is Tallahassee, C-A-P, how about capital? So see how this works, C-A-P consecutively. Now it's not always gonna be at the beginning. To break free from confinement. To break free from confinement has C-A-P in it. You might be thinking capture, but that's to take someone. So, but this is breaking free. C-A-P, one more clue, starts with an E. How about escape? Escape, see the C-A-P right there? We're doing it again. All of the answers have C-A-P consecutively inside of them. Take into one's possession by force. I think I gave you a clue already for this one today. Take into one's possession by force. Remember, it has C-A-P in it. Capture, I think I gave that one away. Commander of a military unit or a boat. Commander of a military unit or a boat. C-A-P is in there. How about captain? Captain. Superman's is red and 
Batmans is black, C-A-P. They wear them on their back and fly around. What are we talking about? How about a cape, C-A-P. Okay, we're done with the C-A-P. First letter focus. So this one is a little challenging. We haven't done this one in a long time. So this is challenging. Take a deep breath. Blow it out. You are ready for the challenge. Come up with one letter that can be added to the beginning of each set of words to form a different set of words. So you're going to see a set of words. They are real words but you need to think of one letter that can be added to the front of all of these words to make new words. Okay, let's do it. First letter focus, we have the word ice, eat, and art. What one letter can go in front of ice, eat, and art to make them three new words? Same letter. What can go in front of them so that we have three new words? How about the letter M? M, like Mary. If we put M here, what do we have? Mice. If we put M here, we have meat. And if we put M here, we have marked. Mice, meat, marked. So keep this concept in your mind because the next couple of exercises are gonna look just like this. You're looking for one letter, you can add to the front of each word provided to make new words. So let's do it again. You've got lap, lose, and rayon. What letter can go in front of each of these words? Same letter in front of each of these words to form new words. Ready? How about the letter C, like cat? Then what do we get if we put a C in front of all of these words? Clap, close, cram. Good job. Let's do it again. First letter focus. So we have low ounce ink. Low ounce ink. What letter can go in front of all of those words to make three new words? Mental math, so let's get those math brains working again, okay? Five times five. I'm gonna go fast. Five times five is 25, good job. Seven times three, seven times three, 21. Eight times five, eight times five is 40. Seven times six, I can't hear you. What's seven times six? 42. Four times four? In the back there, four times four, 16. Good job. Nine times three, nine times three equals 27. Whew, we did it. Okay, but you're not done with math yet. We are still gonna work on math. It's about time. Focus on the question and then tell me the time. So Bob left home at 7.45 a.m. His commute is 15 minutes. So what time did he arrive at work? Bob left home at 7.45. Commute is 15 minutes. What time did he get to work, guys? 8 a.m. Nora takes a Zumba class. Ooh, we should all maybe try a Zumba class. It's pretty intense. I see these ladies working out. So maybe something a little less intense to start. Maybe Tai Chi or chair yoga. 
Nora takes a Zumba class on Tuesday at 7.15 p.m. The class is one hour and 15 minutes. What time is class over? She starts at 7.15, the class is an hour and 15 minutes. Quite a workout, Nora. 8.30 p.m. she's done. John made a pie. Oh, I hope he made a sweet potato pie. That's my favorite. John made a pie. He put the pie in at 1.40 p.m. and set the timer for 50 minutes. What time should he take the pie out? So he put it in at 1.40. Recipe says 50 minutes. What time does that pie come out of the oven? Don't say when you smell it burning because it's too late then. 2.30 that pie is going to come out of the oven. Let's see what Jill's up to. Jill went for a run. 6.30 a.m. She's out there running over the Veterans Memorial Bridge at 6.30 a.m. She gets home at 7.15. How long did she run? She ran longer than me. 7.30 a.m. gets back home at 7.15. How long is that run? 6.30 to 7.15? 45 minute run she did. Good for Jill. Okay, we're done talking about time. Fill it in. How many words can you create? So you can be creative here. We're gonna give you some letters and some blanks where other letters need to be and you're gonna create new words. So let's do it. So the first uh, one you have is P, L, and then two blanks. So we're working with a four letter word, P, L. And there's many words you can put here. You've got P, L, pl, sound, and two more letters. Four letter word starting with P, L. Tell me what you're getting. I wish I could hear you. Call them out louder. How about plan? P L A N, plan. How about what little kids like to do? P L A Y, play. How about what farmers do? P L O W, plow. And I'm sure you've come up with plenty of other words. But we've got plan, play, plum, plot, P-L-O-T, ply, plop, P-L-O-P, plow, and ploy, P-L-O-Y. Good. We're going to do it again. So you've got two letters that would go here. And then you have the letter N, T. So four-letter word, two letters, and then it ends in N, T. So tell me some four-letter words that end with the letters N, T. What do we got, guys? D-O-N-T. Don't. That could go there. What else can go there? C. A N T can't. Two negative words. How about went? W E N T. Punt, like in football, P U N T. Rent, like you might rent a car, go on a vacation, R E N T. <coughs> Excuse me, pint, P I N T. Mint and ant, A U N T. There you go. Let's do it again. Okay, so we've got another four-letter word, two blanks, and a RT. So four-letter word that ends with RT. I'm thinking of cart. C-A-R-T. Cart. Part. P-A-R-T. And I'm sure you're thinking of many others. How about cart? Oh, dirt, D-I-R-T. Fort, F-O-R-T. Hurt, H-U-R-T. Part and mart. Great. Let's do it again. 
This time you've got CR at the beginning and then three blanks here. So you know you're going to have some longer words here because you've got CR and then three blanks. Start thinking of words. Give you a little time here. How about crate? C R A T E, crumb, C R U M B, crate, those are yummy. Cross, C R O S S, crush, C R U S H. Good job. We still have words. This is a fun game called Rhyme Time. So you're just going to holler out as many words as you can think of that rhyme with the given word. So let's start with moon. What rhymes with moon? Come on, let me hear you. Moon, noon, spoon, tune, June. Did we say soon? Did you call me a goon? So we got moon. What rhymes with moon? Soon, June, June, noon, soon again, spoon, tune, and goon. Probably there's others that I didn't even think of. Let's do it again. Cake. Don't tell me your favorite kind of cake. Tell me what rhymes with the word cake. I feel like I hear someone say bake. Cake and bake rhyme. And make, right? Cake, bake, make. And something that starts with the R has nothing to do with cake. Rake. Bake, rake, take, make, oh, and lake. Let's do it again, guys. Bite. Please, no biting. Bite. What rhymes with bite? B-I-T-E. What rhymes with bite? How about might? Tight. Right. Sight. Might, tight, right, bite. We didn't talk about sight and sight. Okay. So we're talking about synonyms now, synonyms, so or means the same as. So if we're having a party, what's another way to say we're having a party? Start calling out those synonyms to party, and there's a lot of them. We're having a party, you've got music, you're dancing, maybe it's a birthday party, we've got cake, maybe there's presents. We're, it's a party, what's another word for party? How about celebration? Celebration is a good one. This one I like. How about shindig? Shindig is a funny word for a party, right? A bash. A bash could be a party. A gathering. A gathering could be a party. And there's my word shindig. All right, we do it again. Happy. Lots of synonyms for happy. So start hollering them out and I'll listen for them. I think I heard glad. That's a good one. Cheerful, another word for happy. Opposite is sad, but we're not talking about those. We're talking about synonyms. Joyful, cheery, glad, delighted, and there's many more for happy. Bold, oh, people never wanna talk about this, but we're all getting older, and that's a good thing, because if we don't get older, well, then you know what happens. So old is a good thing. Give me some synonyms for it. Hmm. I wonder if wise works. I don't really, I don't really think so, but that does happen usually when you get older. Although your kids never believe that. How about a senior? Elder? Another word for old. Opposite we know is young. We've got elderly, mature, that's a good one. Aged older and senior. Okay, so finish the line. This is a fun little game where I start the beginning of a very common phrase and you supply the ending. So in sickness and in, oh, these are vowels at your wedding. In sickness and in health. How about Blank is thicker than water. What is thicker than water? Lots of things, but let's stick to this saying. Blank is thicker than water. 
this red stuff, put a band-aid on it sometimes. How about blood is thicker than water? At 100 years old, my grandma is no, this is a funny little saying, she's no something to do with a farm animal and a season. She's no spring chicken, spring chicken. You're so grumpy. Hope that's not you. Did you wake up on, you're so grumpy. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? No grumps here. We always get up on the right side of the bed or the left or whatever makes us feel good. Okay, the party is a secret, so don't spill the, the party is a secret. The party, or in other words, bash, gathering, shindig, it's a secret, so don't spill the, it's a vegetable, don't spill the beans. Don't spill the beans. So great job, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I hope you had a fantastic time. We're here at the Kane Center. If you need anything, please